<laughs> Alec Pierce from uh, from uh, Alec Pierce Scuba Tech Tips, and I, I'm just laughing here because Kevin says that he's been reading all the comments. Thanks, Mark, very much for that. And he says, everybody wants to be a tech master like me. Well, I don't know where the word tech master came from. I'm not sure if that's a technical term or not. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm a tech master. Yeah, I know a lot about scuba gear. But uh, that's just because I hung around with scuba gear for a long time, and, and I'm mechanically inclined. and took a lot of courses, and some people kept bringing their gear to me. I got three double hose regulators here, one from a chap in Texas, a really nice guy in Texas, another from a fellow in Minnesota, nice guy too, and uh, another one from a chap here in Canada. Three double hose regulators from all over the country for me to fix, and other stuff too. But anyway, uh, I guess I'm a tech master. Okay, you want to be a tech master like me? you got to have tools. You can't be a tech master without tools. Take a look at a standard regulator. Here we have a standard regulator, okay? First stage. First of all, it has hoses. One, two, three, four hoses plus a uh, air-integrated transmitter. And then the second stage, it has hoses and nuts. And all these things are held together by nuts and bolts. You see here? You see the nuts and the bolts? And all these ports are, 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 are certain sizes for wrenches. If you have to move something, if a hose breaks. So you need tools for that. What do you need? Well, you know what? It's really very simple. You need a half inch, 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths, and 11 sixteenths. Okay. You have four wrenches. You can completely dismantle almost every regulator on the market today. It's true. Absolutely true. Now, you do need a couple other small things. You do need a 5 30 seconds Allen key. You know what an Allen key is? An Allen key looks like this. Here's mine. It's bright yellow so I can see if somebody's swiping it. Okay, five thirty seconds Allen key because that Allen key fits all the ports, all the port plugs on your rig port plug. What's a port plug? If you look at your regular, you'll see little plugs with an Allen hole in the end, and this fits in there. Five thirty two. Yep. And there's another one, five thirty two. Why well, am I showing you two? Because they're different. One is smaller. One's a bit bigger. High pressure, low pressure. Why the different sizes? Because you don't want to put a low pressure hose, which is good for two hundred and fifty psi, into a high pressure port, which may hit three thousand. Yeah, it gets exciting around. Your mom's going to yell at you. So they have them different sizes now. So you need to have a 5, 30 seconds Allen key and four wrenches. Uh, a screw. You know, regulators don't have screws on them. A few regulators have a screws on them, and they're usually Phillips screws. That's the crosshead ones for you ladies watching. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean that. Uh, but uh, that's all you need, just a very few tools. Now, how do you do that? Well, you can go to, to your Harbor Freight or Canadian Tire and Home Depot, pick up some tools and make up a tool chest. But there's an easier way. Scuba tool. There you go. This is a scuba tool. You buy it at a scuba store. It's a scuba tool. And it has a, a one quarter Allen key, 530 seconds Allen key. A sharp little pick for taking out old rings is not the best way to do that. Two flat screwdrivers, more for prying than anything because regulars don't have. And there's your crosshead or Phillips driver as well. There's everything on there. And a nice, neat little uh, a wrench, an adjustable wrench. You see that on there that can be adjusted. So this is half, 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths, 11 sixteenths. There you go. Now, this is kind of fat, but it'll work if you're careful. So this one little tool will meet almost all the needs for anything you need to do in your rig. Take all the hoses out, change the port plugs around, take the second stage off. Almost anything can be done with this one tool. Diver's tool. There's another tool, a little bit smaller. Uh, this is pretty neat, and you see how compact it is. I mean, it disappears in your hand, and that has all kinds of neat stuff, too. Uh, that's a looks like a 5 sixteenths. There's a 1 quarter. There's your 532 uh, Allen key, very, very important. There's a little, oh, this is for taking off the valve knob. If for some reason you ever want to take the valve knob off, you're right. This special tool, you see the little cut key in there? I should take the valve off. And then on the other side, it has a, a flat driver. <clears throat> And there's that uh, crosshead or a Phillips driver. Oh, this is look at this is kind of neat. This is another special tool. I have mine's on the wall here. You know, see, you know, see that tool with the special end on it. There's the same tool. You know what that's for? That's for taking on the inflator hose. Do we have an inflator hose on this BC? This guy doesn't use a BC, I guess. Doesn't have an inflator ho hose. Oh yes, he does right there. So this reaches down inside, and you can undo the Schrader valve in there. Schrader valve is the same as the valve on your tire uh, car tires. In the, in the valve, same thing. So that special tool goes down and takes that out so you can put a new one in, okay? And then it has a little brass hook for taking out O-rings. And so there's an even smaller uh, a, a scuba tool, scuba tool, we'll call it scuba tool, with almost everything on there. The only thing that's not on there is a wrench. 
You'd have to pick up another wrench with that. Now, if you if you are if you're a leader, if you're a, a, a scuba leader, an instructor, a dive master, so you're around um, you're around divers a lot. Or if you're one of those people that like tools, you know, like me, I love buying tools. Well, I can't go anywhere near Harbor Freight. I go into Harbor Freight <clears throat> to buy a, a screwdriver to place the one I broke last week, a six dollar screwdriver. Right? I'll walk out three hundred dollars later. It's always the case. But anyway, uh, just the way I like tools. Well, there's this this kit here. This is called the Deluxe Divers Toolkit. So is that Deluxe Divers, you think, Kevin, or a Deluxe Divers Toolkit? Whatever. So if you're a Deluxe Diver, then you can get this toolkit. and has bits in there and Allen keys and a wrench and all that kind of stuff in there that you might need. You know, I, this has got all that stuff. I think this tool is probably better. Has, this hasn't got uh, an old ring pick and so on. But anyway, the point is that if you are a little bit handy and you've been watching my tech tips and you've got a couple ideas on how to change ports, and I'm going to show you more. A lot of you have been asking, how do I do this? How do I change that? How do I change the hoses? And so on. I'm going to show you some of that. I think a little while ago we showed you how to take the second stage apart and cleaned it. So you get a little toolkit like this together. And then keep it somewhere. Don't forget, if you keep it anywhere near the water, which divers tend to do, you know, don't forget, every once in a while to take it out and dry it and spray it with something, WD-40 or oil or something, so it doesn't rust up on you. But if you have one of these uh, divers tool kits like this, then it's amazing what you can do. Take all the hoses off, switch them all around. If a hose blows, you can take the hose off and you can pick up one of these ports and plug, plug that hole and maybe even keep on diving. These little port plugs, are called port plugs, by the way, are cheap. They're free. I have boxes and boxes of them. Because every time we sell a regulator, we end up with three of these. We have to put the safe second in and the, uh, the BC hose and the SPG in. So those ports, you, we just throw them out. I save a bunch. So you should be able to go to your local dive store and say, listen, I would like a port plug, a low-pressure port plug, and a high-pressure port plug. So if my hose breaks, I can plug the hole and keep on diving. They should just give them to you. You know, they should. Anyway, there's some thoughts on tools that you can use to make minor repairs and changes to your regulators. It's really pretty simple. Half a dozen tools. I have a whole bunch, but I only use about six. I'm 50 tools, I use six. <laughs> anyway, good idea. Go into your local dive store and, and check out the various tools. Make sure you're getting the right ones. Remember, 5 30 seconds Allen key, half inch, 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths, and 11 sixteenths, and a Phillips head screwdriver. You can be a, what they call myself? Tech master. Yeah, it's a tech master too. <laughs> Stop laughing. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching Alec Pierce Tech Tips.